Hi, I'm James Harbeck. For today's pronunciation tip, I'm going to do something a little closer to home. Usually my pronunciation tips are geared towards English speakers who want to learn how to pronounce words in other languages as close as they can reasonably get in, you know, English speakerdom. But this time I'm doing place names in Canada. I, I come to a realization that although I'm very familiar with all these place names in Canada, not everybody gets all of them right. Um, specifically people not from Canada occasionally have problems with a few of them. And since I'm from Canada, I, uh, my whole family four centuries back came from the U.S., but I was the first one born in Canada. I was born and raised in this province right here, the name of which I'm going to tell you very shortly. And for a quarter of a century, I've lived in this city right here, the name of which we're also going to have a discussion about. So I feel that I am qualified to give you the goods. I'm going to go through the provinces and territories and the capital cities and any other cities that I think that you should hear the pronunciation of. And I've got my nice little can of Lethbridge Pilsner beer here. Great beer from my home province. I mean, okay, it's not, you know, some kind of microbrew, but we're trying to be like Canadian, eh? Okay, so yeah, whatever. This is classic. Anyway, they didn't have coconut in the liquor store. What can I say? All right. Mm. Coconut, by the way, is a beer from British Columbia. The first province we're going to look at. If you can't say British Columbia, I really can't help you. The capital city of British Columbia is Victoria. I hope you know how to say that. The largest city of British Columbia and one of the largest cities of Canada is Vancouver or Vancouver. Some people say Vancouver. You can just say Vancouver. It's all good. It's, it's named after this guy, George Vancouver. Was it George? I can't remember. Who cares? Anyway, the only other city in British Columbia that you're really going to wonder about the pronunciation of, probably, is Kelowna, which is on Lake Okanagan. As long as you've got that down, they, they have great wines, wines there, by the way. Uh, BC wines are really good. There are two great wine regions in Canada and some fairly good wine regions, but two great ones, and the Okanagan is one of them. The other one is much closer to where I am right now. Next province over, Alberta. Alberta. It's named after Princess Caroline Alberta. Okay, whoopie do. The capital city of Alberta is Edmonton. Now, in Edmonton, by the way, there is a mall. It is very large. Well, they have several malls, but they have what used to be the largest mall in the world. It is West Edmonton Mall. To say it more slowly and carefully, West Edmonton Mall. It is not, has never been, and never will be, the West Edmonton Mall. Don't say, well, we're in the West Edmonton Mall. You're wrong already. We're in West Edmonton Mall. Only we're not. We're here in not West Edmonton Mall. I, I worked there for a couple of years in bookstores. Um, I don't make return visits. Um, the other big city in Alberta is Calgary. Now, Calgary, where I was born, where I did my first university degree, you can say Calgary if you want, or you can say Calgary. Don't say Calgary. Don't say Calgary. Don't say Calgary. Don't. don't. It's, there's no Gary. Sorry. It's, it's not. It's Gary, Gary left town. Calgary. Um, I have a pronunciation tip video on it. I have one on Banff, too, where I went to high school, but that's not a city. It's, you know, town in a national park. And honestly, it's not that perplexing um, to say. The town itself, other things. Um, in between Edmonton and Calgary, which are about a four-hour drive apart, or if you like most people on the highway, too, a three-hour drive, is Red Deer. I want you to understand. Red Deer is an animal. Red Deer is a city. Got that? Other cities in Alberta, yeah, they're not too hard. Lethbridge, nice beer. Or at least sufficient to the purpose. Drumheller, uh, Loch Labiche, uh, Fort McMurray, Athabasca, Hoopy Doo. 
I don't need to talk about them. Nobody on the rest of Canada even cares about them. Um, except for Fort McMurray, but everybody knows how to say that. Saskatchewan. You can say Saskatchewan or you can say Saskatchewan. If you say it any other way, I can't help you. Sorry. Everybody loves the number two city of Saskatchewan, which is Saskatoon. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Sounds great, doesn't it? They have the university there. It's a nice city. The capital of Saskatchewan, however, is Regina. Regina, not Regina, nothing like that. Regina. Also in Saskatchewan, Moose Jaw. Not Moose Jaw, Moose Jaw. All right. Manitoba is the next province over. By the way, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba are the prairie provinces. The west is everything west of of Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia. British Columbia, by the way, everybody says BC, just the same way as you say LA instead of Los Angeles. But the prairie provinces are these ones. Alberta is the only one of them that has mountains and many people forget, but I don't forget because I grew up in them. Thank you. The capital city of Manitoba is Winnipeg. It's also the only city of any particular account. And you're not going to really worry about Brandon or Portage La Prairie or anything. Oh, by the way, the pass. No, it's not. It's the Paw. It's the Paw. It, it was originally Fort Pascoia, now it's the Paw. Or, en français, parce qu'il y a des gens français à Manitoba, le Paw. C'est pas le Pass. Ontario is the most populous city province. Oh, wow, this Lethbridge is kicking hard. Ontario is the most populous province, or it was, you know, the um, Newfoundland rum I had before this. The most populous province in Canada, not the most popular. In fact, probably the least popular. Everybody outside of Ontario hates Ontario. For everybody west of Ontario, Ontario is the east, and they don't like it. People in Ontario think Ontario is central Canada. Central Canada is not a thing if you grew up in Alberta. There's the east and the west. Um, everybody east of Ontario also doesn't like Ontario because Ontario is like the black hole of Canada, right? It's just, it's got the most people. It's got the most money. It's formerly Upper Canada. Woo-wee. All right. Most of the place names in Ontario are not hard to say. I mean, there's Kenora. There's um, Thunder Bay. There's Sudbury. Oh, there's Sault Ste. Marie. But, I mean, there's also a Sault Ste. Marie in Michigan. So... Um, right across, you know, the locks. Um, there's London, there's Kitchener, there's Windsor, there's Hamilton. If you can't see these things, I, I can't help you. Sorry. There's Niagara. Everybody knows how to say Niagara. And then there's the capital city of Ontario, the biggest city of Ontario, the biggest city of, of, of Canada. I'm doing this in one take. I am not retaking. The city in the center of which, or the downtown of which, I happen to be sitting right now, and that is Toronto. Now, if you say Toronto, you're fine. You are fine. There are people who will tell you, no, 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 it's never Toronto. It's always got to be Toronto. If you say Toronto, you're wrong. Well, let me tell you an important thing here. My wife was born and raised in this here city and has never had an address outside the city of Toronto, and she sometimes says Toronto. Toronto is, with, with the second T, you can say Toronto or Toronto, is the official standard, clear, precise, formal pronunciation that people mostly don't use. Be proud of yourself if you know to say Toronto, but don't be a dick about it. That's all. Um, oh, look, this has Oshawa on there for some reason. We won't speak of Oshawa. But there's also Ottawa. Ottawa is the capital of Canada, and it is in the province of Ontario. Some countries have a separate state or district or whatever for the capital city, not Canada. However, right across the Ottawa River from Ottawa is the sort of functional second capital in the other province, the province of Quebec that we're going to get to in a moment. That used to be called Hull, or in French, Eul, but, you know, it's a French province. They thought maybe they'd call it something French, so it's Gatineau. Gatineau. Now, Quebec. Quebec is Canada's largest province by area. And 
Quebec is famously the French-speaking province. It's not the only province where French is spoken. They even speak some French in Alberta, but it's not official. You know, it's not the uh, official language. But there's a whole chunk of Alberta where French is spoken by Lac La Biche, for instance. Um, you will notice I say Quebec. This is how I recommend saying it for English speakers. If you say Quebec, I'm not going to say you're wrong, but I'm going to say you should say Quebec. It's better because en français on dit Québec. Important thing, the most important thing. If you say Quebec, that conveys two things. A, you're trying to be obnoxious and succeeding. B, you're trying to be funny and failing. Don't say Quebec. The capital of Quebec is Quebec City, or La Ville de Québec, or you can just call it Quebec, but you know, if there's any ambiguity whether you meant city or province, well, Quebec City. The biggest city in Quebec, the New York of Canada, I, I said it and I mean it, Montreal used to be the biggest city in Canada, and it is still the New York of Canada, it just, it, it, it is, I'm sorry. Toronto is the biggest city in Canada, wants to think it's New York, it is not, it has terminal Okay, not terminal, but chronic, second city itis. It looks like Chicago and it thinks like Los Angeles. Sorry, but true. And I, I lived here for a quarter of a century. I love the place, but Montreal is the New York of Canada. But it's also a French city and a French province. There's lots of English, but in French, it's Montréal. Montréal. By the way, for the curious, right across the river from Montréal is Longueuil. I'm not going to say it twice. Halfway between Montreal and Quebec is Trois-Rivières, or as they say in French, Trois-Rivières. If you've learned French the way that people outside of Quebec learn French, you think it's Trois-Rivières. And maybe for you it is, but in Quebec it's Trois-Rivières. Look, it's, Quebec French is a special and wonderful thing, sort of like Mississippi English. Um, you, don't, you don't eat poutine Homage la poutine. We, um, my wife and I, one time were going up to La Malbaie in Charlevoix, and we heard there was a tasting route, La Route des Sauveurs. No, it's not La Route des Sauveurs. La Route des Sauveurs. I'm not going to keep going into Quebec French because if you are from not Canada, you couldn't possibly care unless you're a linguist, in which case you already know. The next province over is part of the Maritimes, which are part of the Atlantic provinces. And it's the only province that's bilingual. It's New Brunswick, or Nouveau Brunswick, which is hilarious because Brunswick is literally the least French-looking word you could possibly find in the entire country. The capital of New Brunswick is Fredericton. I suppose you could say Fredericton, but it's Fredericton. Um, mind the spelling. The smallest province in Canada is Prince Edward Island. Note the long name. It's sort of like um, Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, which has a small state with a, small state with a long name. Prince Edward, Prince Edward Island, hello, is a small province with a long name. And the capital is Charlottetown. Oh, by the way, Prince Edward Island is where Anne of Green Gables is from, in case you didn't know. Nova Scotia, capital city, is Halifax. This is all very easy. And then there's Newfoundland. Newfoundland is part of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. It used to just be the province of Newfoundland. But then somebody or somebody's found oil, gas, whatever, petroleum in Labrador. And so they want to make sure everybody knows Labrador, which is on the mainland and parts of which used to belong to Quebec. They want to know, they want everybody to know that's part of the province. So it's Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, Newfoundland was a British colony until after World War II, and then it became part of Canada. Um, it's still fun in a variety of ways, and I love it. it it's a great province. Um, they have a, a distinctive variety of English, and they have, by the way, not Newfoundland. I had a grade three teacher here in Exshaw, Alberta, who said Newfoundland. She was wrong. It's not Newfoundland. I have no idea. I think she was messing with us. Newfoundland. People from Newfoundland 
are sometimes called Newfies. This is wrong and it's rude. Call them Newfoundlanders, if you must speak of them. Which you could. The capital city of Newfoundland is St. John's. Note the apostrophe S. It is St. John's. It is not St. John's. St. John is in New Brunswick. St. John's. All right. That's the provinces. There are three territories. There used to be two, one of which was actually three districts, but now there are three since about 25 years ago. One is Yukon, sometimes called the Yukon, but it seems like they're going more with just Yukon now. The capital city of Yukon is Whitehorse. If you want to ride, you ride the white horse. Only it's one word. One word, white horse. Just like the capital city of the Northwest Territories. It's Yellowknife. Not yellow knife, not two words. Yellowknife. There are no other cities of any size in the Northwest Territories, but you might want to know about Inuvik, Aklavik, and Tuktoyaktuk. Everybody in Canada loves those names. You'll see universities going around with Takyu t-shirts or sweatshirts. I don't think there is an actual university in Tuktoyaktuk. I don't know. It's not very big. And finally, most recently, Nunavut. You might want to say none of it. Back when it was created as a territory, people were joking, oh yes, there's none of it, and then there's the rest of it. Woohoo, that's so hilarious, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, Nunavut is the only indigenous majority um, province or territory in Canada. So that's important. It's full of Inuit. Don't call them Eskimos. It's rude. That's not their word. It was a word from another one of the First Nations of Canada. By the way, in the U.S. they call them American Indians, Canada First Nations. So you know. Um, the capital city of Nunavut used to be called Frobisher Bay, which is still the name of the body of the water that it's on. But now it is Ekaluit. Ekaluit. You probably don't want to say it like that because that k is very far back and is uncomfortable for many English speakers. You can say Ekaluit. That's fine. I just want you to understand if you say I quailed you it, if you say I quailed you it, I'm going to chug this and I'm going to come over to your house and I'm going to hurt you, okay? It's not okay. I quail you it. It's not. And that is Canada. I hope you've had fun. I have.